Good evening, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aquarius? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. What deck we want to use for you, Aquarius? Oh, old school at Rider Wait, Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Aquarius. What's up, Aquarius? What do you have for my Aquarius Collective? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Aquarius Collective. Aquarius, what is going on with you? I'm seeing victory. So we got the world in reverse. So a cycle hasn't ended yet. I want to peek. Six of Wands here, Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor in reverse. So someone's going to get a victory. If you had uh, uh, anyone opposing you, Aquarius, anyone trying to halt any of your movement, uh, you got opportunities coming in. But I think someone was definitely trying to block it. Uh, Aquarius, with the Emperor here in reverse, could be dealing with the Aries type energy. This could be a boss not wanting to give you a raise, or or someone trying to hold up your abundance. I think uh, you're going to win out um, in the end here, and work related because of the uh, Three of Pentacles here in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse. Things are definitely going to get illuminated on your behalf, especially if there is lies and deception. Someone seeing the truth with the Hangman. So, uh, that's good, Aquarius. Hang in there. Hang in there. The world in reverse with the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you've been waiting to hear something back, and it's been a while. Some of you, if you were dealing with uh, maybe some kind of accident or something that kept you out, maybe you were let go of in a situation, uh, you're going to get a happy resolution. So, you know, stay tuned. Stay prayed up. Um, do the healing that you need to do. I definitely think some of you took... Uh, Excuse me, my nose is itching. Uh, maybe you took a financial hit. This could definitely be dealing with work. Uh, hell, maybe y'all just waiting to find out if you get an unemployment check. I don't know what your situation is, but it looks like things are going to work out. So, you know, happy family, happy home here. Stay positive, stay prayed up, you know. Uh, keep in contact with who you need to keep in contact with because I think you're going to be hearing some information that's going to allow you to move on and allow... Uh, any stagnation to come to a halt. So, you know, make the calls you need to make. Uh, keep, uh, you know, pounding the pavement. Keep calling and, and, and seeing how things are going on your behalf. Just be proactive, uh, Aquarius. 2638 could mean something, guys and gals. Uh, 320. What do you got for my Aquarius Collective? Queen of Cups. Page of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Wands in the upright. Ace of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse with the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely waiting on communication. You're waiting on movement forward. Four of Wands here. Definitely could be waiting to hear back from an institution. Um, for some of you, if you're looking for maybe some financial assistance, I really feel... Uh, um, you kind of living on love right now, okay? You got to keep a happy, open heart. Keep your energy positive. Uh, some y'all, maybe you're, uh, maybe it's the feminine energy that's doing all the work right now, um, or you're you're preying on the generosity of other people to get you through right now, and you got a very kind individual who's helping. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, this Page of Wands in reverse, Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands. You're definitely, something hasn't happened yet. I think you're waiting on something. There's been a holdup in your situation that's prevented any movement forward. But I see that coming to an end. But it was definitely a, a battle. It was definitely a struggle. Because the Nine of Wands here with this Two of Wands in the upright, right? This is like the Eleven card. And then we got the um, Four of Wands right here. You definitely were, were up against that battle. You were definitely having to deal with a situation 
or a, an entity, a partnership of some form that wasn't very kind or generous. Um, the Page of Wands here in reverse, the Eleven of Wands in reverse. I'm getting that Eleven energy again, okay? Um... For some of you, if you need to, uh, if things are really bad, um, see if a church can't help you out or some kind of organization can't help you out. If you're having trouble with food or paying your bills or something along that lines, don't let your pride get the best of you, okay? Because there are kind, loving, generous people out there that will help and give to your situation and help you out. I can't tell if this is a family situation or if this is just individual. But I feel like there's more than one person. I feel like somebody's stability has been rocked, right? Almost like their ability to work. Uh, something is, is, is through a wrench in this situation that has, has created a lot of stagnation. Uh, so, you know, definitely don't be afraid or ashamed to uh, ask for help if you need it. There are plenty of organizations that are willing to help and give and uh, are non-judgmental. Okay, so if that resonates for somebody, don't don't be afraid to ask for assistance if you need it. Okay, and if it isn't even financial assistance, maybe you need to go to rehab. Maybe you need to uh, get some help. Maybe you need to talk to a preacher. I don't know what your deal is, but we got this eight of swords energy here. We got this six of swords energy. Um, don't stay stuck or trapped in a mental state of mind that isn't going to be to your higher good. You need to move away from that energy. Okay? It's like, have faith and trust that things are going to work out on your behalf. And do not be too damn prideful to get help if you need it. Okay? Um, I'm really feeling for some of you, this is about pride. This is about pride and ego. This is about pride and ego. But it's kind of a karmic lesson. It had to happen that way. With the four of wands here, I'm seeing this ace of wands, this page of wands, which gives me 11, right? We got the nine of wands plus the two of wands, which is 11. So 11, 11, 11, 11. Um, some of y'all, that's, that's part of the lesson. Uh, uh, an ego death, not being so prideful. Because there are kind, loving individuals out there who can help. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Because, you know, sometimes that's the lesson you have to learn in life, right? When uh, um, uh, the rich person has to beg for food. You know what I mean? It's kind of that role reversal. When you find yourself in a situation that you're not comfortable in and you have to uh, swallow your pride to ask for assistance, don't be afraid to. There's plenty of kind, loving, generous people out there who can help, okay? Um, this is almost like a karmic lesson that needed to be learned. For some that was so, um, if you're very materialistic in the past, you were used to always have an abundance and for whatever reason that got stripped of you and now you're, you're finding yourself on the receiving end of, uh, generosity. It can be hard. But again, with the four, now we got four, four up here, guys and gals. Four of pentacles there, four of wands, and this queen of cups. Ooh, this is like a major uh, uh, life lesson, Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone you're dealing with. You could have someone maybe coming towards you that could be needing some assistance. Um, and you could be asked to give of that with that Queen of Cups energy. Um, I think you know this person is very prideful. Um, so why am I thinking, Aquarius, that you might help this energy out and them not realize that it's even you? Uh, if you could, like, uh, um... I, I'm really almost feeling... And this is not in a negative way. If you like work for an organization or something, or maybe you, um, this could just be a very spiritual person, a very religious person that uh, maybe they work with groups 
and they realize that if a certain family needs assistance, this person just kind of comes in and starts helping in the background. It's almost like a secret Santa type energy. Um, but I think you would do your research. Um, yeah, because this magician in reverse, I feel, is you working your magic in the, in the background. Yeah, look at that. That page of cups. Uh, you secretly help out. Because it's not important that people know who the fuck you are. Um, ooh. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful energy. Aquarius, uh, this could be you. You could be on the receiving end of this, or this could be what you're going to do to somebody else, or, or help out somebody else. And you do it in the background. Some of y'all, maybe you... Uh, go to organizations and see if they have families that need assistance. And then you kind of do your own thing on the side. Um, or maybe you work within an organization. And when people come in, you're able to size up. This is a, a person that has the ability to give. And they give, but they don't want or need people to know that they do it. You know what I mean? Some people give without wanting people to know. Because they don't want people to feel obliged. Especially when they know that someone has a lot of pride. Um, it's like, uh, you're, you, you come in and you, you help people, you help free them from any, uh, uh, hardships that they have, but it's like you show up, you free them, and then you get out of Dodge. You know what I mean? You give just enough to get this person going and get them on their feet so they can, they can move forward. This is a very beautiful energy, Aquarius. This is Earth Angel energy. Maybe you, uh, if you're in a church, you see a, 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 a family or a group that needs some assistance. Um, this is Earth Angel energy, Aquarius. Thank you for letting me tap into this. This is some beautiful energy. But you do it without people knowing that you do it. Uh, definitely a person that, you know, they got plenty of resources and they just, they're very picky about who the hell gets it. And they don't, uh, they don't need people to know what they do. <laughs> they spread their love in the background. So, two sides of this, you're either going to be the one that's going to be helping out a situation, or some of you, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. Uh, I'm also wanting to say, if someone comes in and helps you out, they they see you're struggling, and they uh, you know maybe they give you a donation, maybe they send you some money in the mail, maybe they you know send you some gift cards, whatever goes on here, be open. You're either going to be the one that's given or you're going to be the one that's receiving here, Aquarius. Uh, either way, do it with a kind, open heart and realize you can always pay it back at the end. It's kind of one of them pay it forward type energies. With 44 here, 11, 11. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is Earth Angel energy, guys and gals. This is beautiful. This is some beautiful energy. So, if you need assistance, don't be afraid to ask for it. If someone wants to help you out, be open to receive. You know, we're all on that spectrum at one point in time, okay? When you're able to give, and sometimes you can't give, you got to be the one that receives. Um, that's just the way it goes, okay? Uh, swallow your pride, do what you need to, especially when it helps get you out of feeling mentally stuck and trapped and unable to, to make any moves or feeling like you can move any, move forward. You know, sometimes you just need that little bit of hope. Uh, just that little bit of a handout, that little bit of a pick you up to, to make you realize that things can move forward in a very positive energy. Thank you, Aquarius. I, I, I just want to ruminate in this energy for a minute. This is some beautiful energy, okay? Earth Angel energy.
But don't be afraid if you need assistance to get it, to ask for it. And if someone does want to help you out, accept it graciously and, you know, know that you can pay it forward down the road. Let it kind of bring that bit of hope to you to get you over uh, any obstacles that you have. Forty-four could be what you're seeing. Eleven, 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 eleven. Uh, Y'all, I'm loving that energy. So thank you, Aquarius. And this is for the hidden earth angels out there. Spreading their love and kindness. Without needing recognition for it. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, Aquarius. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Oh, I love that Aquarius. Peace, love, and light. 